Welcome to my power of the day. Today's my power of the day is none other than the health department of South Africa. And the South African health authorities are grappling with the means by which to implement South Africa's sugar tax, which comes in which is due to come into effect on the first of April. That's April Fools for all of you out there that enjoy your sugary sweetened beverages. Now two a couple of items that are worth taking into account here is number one, this sugar tax is likely to be a 20% levy on top of the price of all sugar sweetened soft drinks across South Africa. That's number one. Number two, mark my words, not one cent, not one cent of any of that sugar tax is going to go anywhere near a clinic for treating heart disease, diabetes or obesity in amongst the poorer of the communities in South Africa. If the money was all going directly into obesity, heart disease, um, diabetes type treatment centers, absolutely I can see this being a worthwhile cause. But mark my words, not one penny will go anywhere near any of those items, any of those places. It will all be going towards bailouts for South African Airways, bailouts for ESCOM, and maybe even an additional wing being built onto uh, Nakandla. Um, especially seeing that in 2019, Nakandla is going to be getting its most esteemed permanent resident that is going to be looking at even becoming a mayor of the region of Nakandla. But that's another matter totally beside the point. But now, in addition to the fact of sugar sweetened beverages and this sh sugar tax on there, if the government was really serious about ta taxing, levying additional tax on the foodstuffs that lead to obesity, heart, heart disease, diabetes, etc., then besides a sugar tax, there will be an extra tax levied on anything that contains cholesterol. There will be an extra tax levied on anything con that contains saturated fat, and there will be an extra tax levied on anything that contains trans fats because trans fats, saturated fats and cholesterol have as much of an impact if not a greater impact on heart disease, obesity and diabetes, type 2 diabetes than what sugar does. There have been studies that show that people that have severe type 2 diabetes where the organs are shutting down are put onto a rice and sugar diet cutting out all oils cutting out all fats cutting out all cholesterol and their, chole their diabetes numbers their blood sugar numbers come down they do not elevate so from that point of view trans fats saturated fats cholesterol have a bigger impact on diabetes a bigger impact on heart disease a bigger impact on obesity than what sugar does but your soft drink companies are huge multinationals making money in South Africa, which makes them an ideal soft target for the government to go after, especially when you take into account that not one cent of any of this money will go anywhere near any project for dealing with and working with patients that are suffering from these chronic diseases, especially amongst the poorer communities of South Africa. That's my take on the matter. Post new comments, questions, criticisms you may have in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and share this video out amongst your friends. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button that's down there. And last but by no means least, until the two of us meet again, try not to get yourselves lost or killed, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>